parallelogram has two sets of equal angles already. So that doesn't change it anything from a parallelogram. So yes, we do not have a parallelogram, so I'll write that down so far. Having two sets of congruent lines, it has all four congruent lines. Alright, let's look at the diagonals of a rhombus. Go ahead.
I'd say I would go with there's kind of two different definitions. What do you know about a square? It has four equal sides and it also has it's changed in that equal angles a little bit. It has four four and ninety degrees, right? What do you know? This. So we can kind of define this two different ways. It's a what? We could say it's a rectangle with what? With four finger inside. <laughs> so therefore, it would have all the characteristics of a rectangle. So we would know that the diagonals are what? What do we know about the diagonals of rectangles? That we know of the <coughs> parallelogram. Rectangles, we know the diagonals are congruent. We could also define it as what? We can we can define it as parallelogram, but we know it's a rectangle. We can define it as a rhombus with four 90 degree angles. Or four right angles. So then we would also know that it would have, what about its side? It would have perpendicular by its side. Square has all the characteristics of the rhombus and all the characteristics of a rectangle, which means it has all the characteristics of a parallelogram, which it is a parallelogram. All right, so we're calling this a rhombus right now, the DKLM. And it tells us that AM is 4X, AK is 5X minus 3, and DL is so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write some of this stuff in if I can. AM X <coughs> AK 5X minus 3 and DL 4. Alright. Well, to find X, what would I do? To AM why would I do that? What do I know about those? Well, what do I know a rhombus is? It's a parallelogram. What do I know about the diagonals of a parallelogram? They're bisects. So yes, I would know that 4x equals 5x minus 3. So that's each half of my diagonal, right? So I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. Can 
TV would be the same length as RS or ST. It doesn't actually matter which one you plug it into. So let's go ahead and plug it into ST. Be 3 times 2 plus 6. It's 6 plus 6, so that means TV would also be. Good, you guys trying to finish the last two? <coughs> Thank you. Remember what diagonals do.
90, right? So it would be 180 minus 90 plus 35, or 180 minus 125, so I would get 55 degrees. But if we know that it's a rhombus, they can't be the same length. They have to have What's a rhombus, but it's also a rectangle? Okay, so they could be the same. A square has 90, and the original rhombus has the opposite and positive. We're listing all the quadrilaterals apply. Is a square a rhombus? Yes. So if this winds up being a square, I would have to list all of my quadrilaterals, because I want to be able to list all that I'm applying. So you want the same length as the original rhombus? So, so far we found that it is a rhombus because they're perpendicular, perpendicular diagonals. But if my diagonal is going to be congruent as well, not only is it the rhombus, it's also going to be a square, so that means it's also going to be a rectangle and a parallelogram. Alright, so we find the distance of QS. Four minus twelve squared plus negative eleven. Oops, my wrong one. Negative one minus negative five squared. So if I simplify that, I get negative eight squared. Plus four squared. So sixty four plus sixteen. So I get the square. 
distance of RT. You're right, it is just taking the top and bottom up there. You can see that, that's okay. But if you don't, I'm still going to go on to that because I'm going to make up that part. So then it would be 4 minus 12 squared plus negative 11 minus 5 squared. Yes, negative 8 squared plus negative 16 squared. 64 plus. your homework up there last week so I'll have to look at it again to see it. I think maybe two? Yeah. 